I'll start that again. It's pretty noisy here, but in the best possible way, we're at Rockingham for the first track day of the Global Endurance Legends Grid, which is a gathering of all the amazing 1990s and early 2000s sports racing cars from Le Mans and all the various championships and blue ribbon endurance races that were taking place at that time. And it's been galvanized by Jarrah Venables, who's over the last year or two beavered away to get enthusiastic owners to come together to put together some demonstrations at various track events this year with an idea of the first races taking place next season. But this is a really interesting category for a gentleman driver, an amateur racer or a collector because for the first time since these cars race officially in period there is now events that you can actually do something with. The Masters Series has just created their own Le Mans Legends grid which is starting straight away this year. It surely has to be a good place to consider participating as an investor, as a racer, as a collector. cars since he raced them in period so although it'll be a bit of a wake-up call for him in terms of speed initially I'm sure he'll soon find himself back on familiar turf Gregor then very kindly invited me to have a go in his lovely DBR9 and of course I jumped at the opportunity but it turns out my onboard camera decided that it was slightly less key. Sorry. So instead let's take a ride with my former Aston Martin teammate and two-time Le Mans winner Darren Turner.
Uh, yeah, it's um, you can run it in six. It gets quite loaded up with the steering yeah. through there, and I'm not sure with this tyre what you can actually get with it. But uh, I'd say it's, it's comfortable balance, aero wise, car wise, it's all very good. Just feels quite stiff. Yeah. Um, so Just over all the bumps, it's skipping around yeah. a bit. But yeah, it's easy to drive. The only thing that needs a bit of work on is the shifting. The cut doesn't work. Yeah, well, the cut. I've just tried it with the cut yeah. and it seems to sort of take too long to get the power back in after. Right. So it's easier just to put it in that mode right. and lift off the throttle. Just lift off the and just change, yeah, and then it's fine. But the brake bar seems about right. right. Um, aero balance is fine. So it's all right to drive actually, just okay. a bit too stiff for this track really. Okay. So. So it's going right. It's, a good, it's great in here, absolutely yeah. lovely. So. Um, and slow. It's not. It's not slow. Does it look quite yeah. yeah. alright? <laughs>